In this video, I will show you how I did the smashing glass effect or the breaking glass effect in a prior video. Now, the first thing that you want to do is, of course, to get a shot of yourself trying to break an imaginary glass in front of me. Now, that took a few attempts to make that clip look realistic. Now, for this video, I use Shortcut Video Editor. However, you can actually use other video editors as well. Now, because I shot this clip uh, in front of a blue screen, I need to do uh, chroma keying to remove it. Now, removing the background is quite simple in a shortcut. All I have to do is add the chroma key filter and then remove the color that I didn't want. And the next thing that you want to do is, of course, I need to add the dark background for the layer underneath. To do that, I added the color just created a black color to use as the background. Stretch it over the entire track and the blue screen is gone. Next, I added the video track. And once I have the additional video track, I brought in the footage of the glass breaking. The tricky part is actually to adjust the footage so that the point where I hit the imaginary glass, the glass actually breaks and that take a little bit of moving the clips back and forth. Now once it's done, you need to add a blend mode in order to blend the two clips together. Otherwise, it will just overlay the other and you can't see what's beneath. Anyway, I got the broken glass effect and other sound effects from some free websites online. I'm going to put them all in the description below so you can also get them in case you want to try something similar. There are other effects that you can also find from those websites. The next step, I added an audio track and this time I brought in the sound effect of the glass breaking. Again, I need to adjust it so that the timing fits perfectly and it looks alright. And for the other sound effect where the glass hasn't broke yet, I use a different sound effect. I use wooden bat effect and I trim that so that it matches the clip above. I also copy the sound for the next section of the video so that the sound is a repeat of the earlier sound. I did it for the earlier section of the clip where it was just uh, me with my fist trying to knock on the glass. Of course the sound is a little bit different. I used a different sound effect basically did the same thing to time and synchronize the action on screen and the sound on the audio track. Now to add some final touch, I had that Area 51 light blinking all right, to make it a little bit more ominous. And all I have to do is just add a, a text in the, to a different track in a shortcut. Once that's done, I added an opacity filter and I keyframe it so that it looks as if the light is blinking. I hope that you've enjoyed and learned something from this video and have a little bit of fun as well. If you enjoyed this and want to learn more, check out my playlist here on using Shortcut and other video editors as well. And you want to get the very best out of Shortcut, do consider my course. Links in the description and on the screen. I'll see you next time.